Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with The Legend of Korra, book 4, episode number 13. And this is the final episode of this series. So yeah, it's been a long journey. I began with, um, you know, the Avatar The Last Airbender. And uh, now The Legend of Korra, the final episode. It's been quite a long journey for like, you know, like it's, it's been a while and yeah i have had an amazing time i'll talk about more in details how i liked it and everything after i watched this episode so yeah if you're interested in like you know getting to know my thoughts uh, be sure to stick around for the last part the, for the discussion portion okay so the previous episode we get um more uh but you know julie's back and she apologizes and obviously varic also apologizes in his own weird way and uh, then um batar like they're like you know we come up with a plan to bring batar to us and uh, you know like get something to know about what should like what should we do about that huge mecha thing and we get batar and uh, he didn't say anything but as soon as um Huvira got to know that he's with us he just fired now yeah like so it's basically kind of shows that i'm guessing she just liked i i don't know like you know like her she did not like him that much, I, I guess, probably, because, like, you know, like they said, like, they liked each other, this and that, they're going to get married, blah, 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 but as soon as, you know, this happens, she decided to sacrifice Batar for her own um, thing, and she even lied, you know, like, she even said that, oh, yeah, definitely, you are my priority, and then just told the others to attack. I, I'm not so sure about it. Anyways, Batar realized, like, you know, like, what Kuvira has done, and in the next episode, we get to see that Batar actually tells us what to do, go inside and do these kind of, like, you know, a few stuff, so that the mecha can be stopped. And another thing happens, which is Varric actually proposes <laughs> to Julie, which was kind of insane in the middle of all of that thing, but still, it was, it was really interesting to see that. Who would have thought that Varric and Julie would actually, like, you know, like you know Varric would actually propose like in the first episode that I met them I never thought this was going to happen like, that's crazy <laughs> anyways um and um Osama's dad is back he helped us out with the hummingbird things uh mecha suits but unfortunately by the end he had to sacrifice himself and uh Asami I'm, I'm not sure what she is going to like you know she, she oh boy it's, it's been a you know like she it, he died in front of her so i don't know what's going to happen to her after that but either way um we got in now we'll have to see what happens after that the final battle versus kuvira i'm guessing let us see so yeah this is the final episode episode number 13 so yeah let's begin i'll be putting the subtitles on the timer here sync it to whichever is a preference and let's start all right here's the countdown three two one go Hmm. yeah oh yeah he helped us out using the moles you know yeah Bad, oh no, oh sorry, the last stand. All right, Kuvira must be very stressed. Oh boy. Oh, wait, what? Oh, he she took, okay. That was smart. Up oh, infiltration. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. Okay. Now, yeah, but this time is different. Yeah, she's at full power now. She has accepted her defeat against Zahir. 
and she has ex accepted her fear. Damn, that was cool. <laughs> Yo, this is such a cool like. Oh, nice. Oh boy, this is a problem. Yeah. Oh god. This thing is so. I, I love how Bolin is actually doing the lava bending and the metal thing. Oh boy, okay, hmm. All right. Oh my god. Yo. Okay. Did that work? Oh, mm, yeah. Probably it worked. Yeah. You <laughs> know the smug face. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Okay, there you go. Yeah. Well, she's preoccupied with using like um, uh, it's not working. Yes. Oh damn! Is she gonna do break? Uh, yeah. Oh my god. She's intelligent. You know, like who would have thought that? Yeah, you could do something like yeah, yeah. I guess. Damn. The weapon is gone. One thing is. Oh boy. And she made sure to like, you know, tie them down using metal. Oh, nice. Here we go. The final battle. Yo, is that oil? Whoa, what? Is, no, what is that? No, that's metal. Sorry, liquid metal. Oh, 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 oh my God. Go on. Oh, wow. The way she fights is so interesting. She actually uses the environment for her advantage, which is really cool. Even, oh, oh. All right. Oh. Nice. Okay, yes. Oh. Oh, yes. Yeah, okay. All right. Yes, okay. Um, maybe it'll take some... Oh. Um... <laughs> Um Okay then But ah I don't know <laughs> Yeah <laughs> uh. Maybe <laughs> Okay Oh my god How can you even get out? Oh boy. Okay. Oh, 
Oh my god. Okay, run. Oh god. Oh no, she still has to continue. Oh god. Okay, move. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Hopefully, Bolin is there waiting so that he can pick him up and go out. I think he will be waiting. My god. Ugh. Nice. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh okay. Oh, all right. Yes, come on. Oh! Okay, Bolin is there you go. I knew Bolin would be there. Run! My god! Come on, yes! Yeah, yo! Ah! Well, okay, and they are fine, I'm guessing, yeah. Well, there you go, you lose. Mm, yeah, I okay. You need to first tie her down, then talk. Yo! She's, oh my god, she's running. Oh god. Will the spirits attack her or something? She's going in a very... Oh no, no, probably not. I was thinking like she's going in the, in the forest, so maybe the spirits will do something to her? Oh lord. Oh my god, she got- oh! Wow! Yo, this thing is going to blow up or something, like- Will it even? Okay, it is working. Ah! Oh. oh my. What? Oh god. What's the point of this? Yo, the. Oh yeah, there you go. The forest is. Great. What was the point of that? What, what, what was she thinking that she would accomplish by doing that? Oh God. Yeah, that is spirit energy. So she can technically stop it, I guess. Oh my God, yo. I was not expecting this. Oh my god. Oh. Okay. Wait, what happened here? Is this like a portal or something? Is that a spirit portal? Yeah, oh my god. Whoa.
<laughs> this is well this is maybe Genora can uh, you know like kind of tap into the energy and Oh, she's in the... Oh, she's back here again. Oh, Kuvira. Oh, oh, wait. What? I think the spirit world. Yeah, this is the spirit world, isn't it? Oh boy. Well, you created. <laughs> I mean, dead. It's, it's, it's inside the, the. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Ah, okay. Well, because she's the main character. <laughs> and that. Yeah, if you think of it in that way, I guess Kuro could have ended like Kuvira. If she did not get proper guidance or something. I don't know. Like this? Oh my god. So she really thought she was doing something good for everyone. What? Neither do you. I <laughs> really really no do you know what Kora went through <sighs> yeah she yeah like throughout all the three seasons all she was like everything she was subjected to Korra was crazy like she all like in each season has she had a new trauma it's so crazy like imagine like you know spending your life just wow all the spirits are here yeah obviously there's a new portal so up oh, they're here yes <laughs> All right. Oh boy. Well. Yeah. Better tell sorry to Batar as well because she genuinely liked you. <laughs> ah, all the spirits are happy. They have. A... What? Who's singing? Ah. Yeah, Julian. Oh my God. <laughs> Yo, yeah, what? <laughs> Everyone's here. <laughs> oh, Bob. <laughs> Wait, that's his full name? <laughs> yep, that's definitely needed. <laughs> uh.
Um... <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, wow. Well, that's something I never expected. This, at least. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy wait what oh okay i was like what was that wow wait who's this wait who's that for a moment i thought that was Yo, Nilo. Yes. <laughs> ah, king. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. He he'll become the king. Oh. Okay. No, I. <laughs> Singing career? Okay. Hmm. Okay, that's good. <laughs> what happened to his legs? Mm. Okay. All right. There you go. Why is she so sad? Ex expand? <laughs> True. True, you know? <laughs> yeah. Mm. Um apologize? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, her dad. Yeah, true. Like, you know, it, it, it's, it's so good that I'll talk about this later. <laughs> Vacation. Oh. Oh, the new spirit portal. All right.
Wow. Okay, well. Well, there you go. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't want to assume, but they got together, don't, didn't they? Like, that's what I understand. Okay, is that it? Oh, that's it. Wait, that ended just abruptly? Okay, now, like I'm saying, like, you know, I don't want to assume, but correct me if I'm wrong. Like, uh, like the way everything, like, kind of went in the end, I feel like, uh, like, Korra and Asami got together, didn't they? Um, I do know there is like a continuation for this as a manga Just like Avatar also had a few Continuation where the whole thing with um, Zuko, you know, like Azula and their mom thing was like in a result I read those, you know, and it was really interesting I loved those like, you know, um, uh, the manga, the comics that you, that you say And uh, I loved them so much that it was such a Like and I was thinking like, why did they not animate this part? That part was really good. I loved the whole, you know, finding Zuko's mom portion. That was really good. I would have loved it if that had like an animation, but I, I don't think there is. So I'm guessing just like that, this also has like a continuation in the comics. So I'll, I'll read them on my spare time. And I'm guessing it's going to continue from there. But I guess they're kind of hinting it in the end that Korra and Asami got together. Most probably, like I'm saying, and if I'm wrong, correct me. And from the comments as well, from the previous few episodes, um, like in a few comments, I was able to realize that yeah, Korra and Asami will probably get together. That's why in the end, I was not that much surprised because, you know, like, you know, we, we saw the development as we, you know, like saw. And uh, yeah, I'm happy about that. Like, uh, my honest opinion, I think Korra and um, uh, uh, Asami are better together than the whole Mako and everyone, like, you know, like Mako, the whole thing problem with Mako and Korra was that I don't know, they, I think they, they were not really ready or something like that, you know, like they probably did not match like that, like it, it was good, but they had more problems than, you know, than, that's, that's, than, than it's necessary. Now, like I said, I don't know how this is going to go, Korra Asami, this is barely their start, when Mako and Korra started, you know, Mako Korra's relationship, it, it went well for the few, like, you know, for the first few uh, like, uh, uh, moments and all. And then it started going, going downhill completely and it was just a mess. So I don't know how this is going to go, but I feel like this will go better because they, like, you know, Ma, what happened about Marco Cora? Marco Cora got together as soon as they met each other. You know, they did not know each other's faults. They did not know each other's good part, you know, all that stuff. They just got together and then, then after getting together, they realized each other's faults and everything which made the relationship completely go in a bad direction you know and i don't know i think that was the main problem with marco and cora they got together too quickly that's how it went downhill from there you know like after getting together you, you get to know your uh, you know obviously your uh, partner's faults and like uh, good points and all that you know so i'm guessing after getting to go in that the development going in that direction it went downhill but for Korra and Asami, they have been friends for how many? Three to four years, I'm guessing. And they know each other very well. They know each other's flaws. They know each other's good parts. So starting now, I think is a very good decision. Also, I feel like, my, uh, like you know, Korra and Asami, I don't know, like, you know, there's, I feel like there's like a, what can I say? A better connection between them than Marco and Korra. I never liked Marco and Korra, you know? to be honest like it, it did not help the whole thing with marco going to asami as well and like trying to like you know like he himself was confused where to go who to pursue and like all that like you know compiled i really was not good with the like you know fact that marco and cora was a thing i i did not like that pairing at all so asami cora yeah it's a lot better and i i'm i think this is this is going to go a lot better here as well and uh, yeah, as, as characters, Marco, Cora, everyone's good. But like, you know, as couple, Marco and Cora, I, I, I was not really happy about it. You know? <laughs> I don't know why, but I thought that it is going to go in a very bad direction and it went in such a bad direction. But, Mark, uh, but Cora and Asami, I think it's going to work out. And I'm, I'm, I'm sure I'll get to know that after reading the comics. Uh, the comics, I'm, I'm guessing the comics will actually explain and give more into this.
um, I'll, I'll read the comics on my own and uh, yeah anyways that was this episode the final battle and uh, all in all uh, my whole journey with uh, avatar the last airbender korra you know like um, the legend of korra everything now when i ended avatar um, i was kind of a little bit um, what can i say a little bit concerned because i got to hear from a lot of people that legend of korra is not as good as uh, avatar and not only that i've actually seen people like i don't know like you know like badmouth this show so much that i was actually concerned i was like what even happens here that it's so bad after seeing the whole thing for myself i realized nah it's it's a good show obviously avatar the last airbender has a lot of things which they actually do better than Korra, but that doesn't make this show bad you know this show is good this show is good Avatar The Last Airbender is better. That's what I would say if I had to compare. I've seen people actually really like, you know, I don't know, like go against this show so much that I was actually concerned for a moment. I was like, I'm going to start reacting to this show. If it's that bad, then I probably might not be able to, like, you know, just react to the four seasons because I myself probably won't have fun. But then after watching the whole thing, I'm like, no, it's it's fine. You know, like this, this show has its problems, has its like, you know, shortcomings and all. But everything com combined and all together, it's, it's a good show, you know. One thing that I really liked about both Avatar and this show is the comedy. I love the comedy so much and I think the comedy actually kept me hooked to the show even during the portions where it was actually a little bit i had like a no problem for example season two the way it started and the way it was going i was like what is happening why is this season so bad you know but the comedy is the one thing that actually kept me hooked and if i had to like you know say like you know like the parts that i did not like about Korra, i would say it's season two mostly mostly season two and in the end of it the season two also became better and, and i remember in season two there were two episodes that were two episodes where they tell us about the origin of the avatar that was one of the two best episodes that is also in season two but the po first portion of season two and like in the middle portion of it kind of i was like what is even happening here why is it going like this you know and uh you know the thing that actually still kept me hooked to the show was the comedy i love napoleon's <laughs> like you know weird stuff varics like you know like comedy and everything like all the comedy involved in this show is, is really good like i like, you know I, I remember watching avatar and i was like damn like, avatar's uh, the last airbender's comedy is really good i love saka so much you know just because of that that's why i was like will they be able to provide the same in Korra? they were you know, Bolin took Saka's place, and both Saka and Bolin are just perfect. They, they, as characters, they have so much, and their comedy is just perfect for this show. Like I love the comedy in this show, and uh, I think both the show, the comedy is perfect. I wouldn't actually say that oh, this is better than that season. No, it's perfect both in both of it. As for story and you know, like the um other stuff. What can I say? Like these, I have to say, obviously Avatar The Last Airbender does it a lot better because in Avatar there's so many things that are actually really great. Like for example, the whole Azula, you know, situation, uh, then Zuko, you know, like converting from a, I, I wouldn't say bad person, but converting from the enemy camp to the ally camp, you know, the whole, the way he kind of changed and his growth, everyone's growth. You know, like Saka's growth, and obviously, uh, Legend uh, Avatar: The Last Airbender had uh, Uncle Iroh in it, and like, there were so many things that makes Avatar: The Last Airbender so much better than the Legend of Korra. But I wouldn't say Legend of Korra is bad. Legend of Korra also had its really good portions. Um, I loved um, uh, season three. You know, season three was really good, uh, especially the whole Zahir portion. I I was really interested in that. Um, season 2 was a really bad experience, I have to say, especially the first part. And I hated Unalak. Unalak was... I don't know, like, I, I hate Unalak. As, as a bad villain character, Unalak is bad completely. I, I don't like him at all, you know? And um, uh, season 1, I, I love season 1 as well, you know? The whole Amon and, you know, like, Darlok, all that stuff. 
and uh, one thing that i did not like about season one was that weird drama romantic drama that they were having you know like in season one i was like what the hell is happening this is like you know this is legend of Korra. why is this weird love triangle drama thing happening here you know and it was done in such an uncomfortable way that i myself whenever those sections came up i was like whoa like you know i'm not comfortable with this what is even happening here <laughs> the way it went on all that um that was one thing i had a problem with in season one other than that season one was fantastic season two was bad the last portion was okay i would say i loved seeing unalak get defeated that was fantastic oh and Korra becoming that big huge spirit thing that was really good as well uh season three I loved uh, like you know the whole Zahir's like you know thing and everything. In the end, Zahir kind of went crazy, which I was I was kind of disappointed with. I was like, well, I thought I would have been able to like you know, I would be able to say that Zahir is one of the best villain characters here. But in the end, after like you know losing, I think Flea that was her name, her girl, his girlfriend, you know, and after him uh, like you know taking out the shackles of the worldly desires or whatever, you know, he he went in of such a bad direction and he became power hungry which was a little bit kind of there but still other than that uh, season 3 was really good i liked it so much um and uh, obviously in uh, season 4 the whole kuvira and everything and uh, yeah like kuvira was also as a villain kuvira was also really good i i liked i i really loved kuvira's the way she fought the way she fought was really interesting i loved how she like i said here in this video i said as well I love how she uses her environment to fight, you know, like just like taking out things from here and there, using the environmental physics and everything to fight. That that's one thing I loved in season four. I think in season four there was so much of that, For, uh, and also like you know like the whole Sue, um, uh, Sue, and what's his her name, Lin, Lin fighting as well. They also used the physics, you know, the environmental physics and everything. You know, I I just love that so much using the environment to advantage uh, like i remember that one scene where sue i think it like takes some metal and kind of makes an armor out of it and that was one of the coolest scenes i i still remember and this season has stuff in it which is another thing that makes it so much better and uh yeah like season four was really good if i had to rank i'd probably say season three and four are really good um season one was decent you know and season two was bad <laughs> so yeah that's my like you know like uh ranking i would say amongst amongst the season so yeah this is just a really good so a really solid show like i'm i was actually concerned when i saw people saying that oh this show is so bad but after watching it i'm like no it's it's not that bad it's it's good you know this show is good i like it i really like it and uh <clears throat> Yeah, Korra's growth was also amazing. The, like in season one, we, we saw how she was, you know. She was that reckless teenager who just wanted to, uh, you know, like make people uh, acknowledge herself or some kind of, like, you know, something like that she had going on. In season two, she was like a complete rebellious teen. You know, season three, she was a lot more calmer, but then she got hit with the whole uh, Zaheer thing and she became very, like, you know, depressed and stressed out. And in season four, she was able to overcome all of that. And, you know, like she says in today's episode that I realized like, you know, like what type of a person I was and I wouldn't be able to come here and, you know, like realize my shortcomings and everything without all of you people's help. And, you know, like that, that part where Cora says that. And um, yeah, her growth was really amazing. And like I said, I don't think yeah, Aang never went through this, you know, Korra went through, like, some kind of shock each and every season. In season one, you know, like, losing her power, but then she gets it back. In season two, the whole Unalak situation again, uh, you know, like, uh, losing her power, and, like, then again she gets it back. In season three, again, you know, like, she almost was, like, you know, got the shock from Varric. And she, uh, not Varric, why am I saying Varric? Zaheer, sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so yeah, she got that, like, you know, thing, uh, like, you know, the, the, the trauma from him, him. And again, she was almost unable to use her bending. She, she was almost paralyzed and everything, all that stuff. And then, you know, in season four, she was able to gain that back and able to come to an acceptance. So in that way, I, I have to say Korra has gone through a lot. 
even a lot more than Aang. And another thing that Tenzin says here is like she's one of the uh, avatars who was able to change the world so much in so many different ways. That's also another thing that I'm like, you know, I, I think that's so much true. She was able to change the world in so many different ways. First of all, she brought the spirits back. That's like one of the biggest things she did. And I think that was for the better, you know, like bringing the spirit world and the human world together was so good. You know, that's one of the best decisions. It has its problems as well, fair share of problems, but everything has its fair share of problems. You know, you, you got to like, you know, deal with it. Um, but yeah, so there you go. Okay, like as a whole, that's what I like, you know, I, I, I love this show. You know, like that's like my mini review, you could say about this. Okay, this episode, um, this episode begins with Korra and um, Korra getting in and then like, you know, Korra going towards um, uh, Kuvira while <clears throat> uh, Mako and Bolin, they went towards the, the reactor thing and, uh, you know, Sue and uh, Lin, they were there to like, you know, destroy things from the inside and uh, they started their mission like sue and lin were able to do it very e easily the outside is platinum the inside is metal so they were easily able to bring it down uh Kav kavira realized that and she just yanked the whole like on you know, a hand off and just threw it away now <clears throat> they were unable to fight from there onwards because they were like you know they were like just tied together by the metal Kuvira made sure and like I said Kuvira is very intelligent in that way because she thought of everything like you know she after yanking that arm and throwing it away she remembered to actually like you know knock them unconscious and make the metal to at attach them to the thing so that they cannot move you know so that even after getting it off of the like you know like the, the, the head getting the hand off so that they cannot come and attack them uh, attack Kuvira she made sure of that and uh, and then obviously Korra and Kuvira happens and the battle was yeah really good and Korra was able to fight her like you know like toe to toe to toe is that I, I don't know anyways <laughs> fight them uh, her equally toe to toe is that a word or is it head to head or is it head to head anyways um <laughs> so yeah, while that was happening, uh, Bolin and uh, Marco, they were on, on the reactor and they realized that Kuvira got control of that, so they cannot uh, deactivate it normally. Um, so Marco obviously decides to, you know, j just sabotage it and, you know, like destroy it. Bolin was obviously not happy with that. She, he was like, no, like, you know, like you, you try to save yourself. And Marco does try to save himself, but you know, like the stress is too much. He he feels false, uh, false and conscious. But Bolin was there. Bolin grabs him and brings him out to safety. While all of this is happening, Korra and Kuvira is also fighting, and uh, the whole thing blows up. Kuvira and Korra falls down, and Korra brings Kuvira out, and Kuvira still like you know like no, I'm not going to give up, and she runs away, whacks Korra with a brick or something. I don't know. And gets to inside this forest and she's still not giving up she tries to use the weapon to attack Korra or I don't know what she was planning to do there and uh, yeah like the the oh my god the whole thing blows up and probably because of like a reaction with the spirit uh, weapon and the vines spirit vines the whole thing kind of went crazy and it blew up and a spirit portal came up emerged from here and they're trying to find Korra and Korra and Kuvira are in the spirit world. Korra saves Kuvira and here Korra says that you are kind of like me. Now this is one thing that I have to say I partially agree with it. Uh, why partially? Because like Korra says that Kuvira is kind of like her, you know, like very like, you know, has like her own goals in front of her and all that. And uh, like, you know, uh, will do anything to accomplish that and uh, she <clears throat> you know like like i said like you know, going towards the goal and all that and and cora was also kind of like this if you can remember she was also like you know just looking at the goal just doing her own thing and that's why i'm saying i partially agree with cora that she was kind of like kubira why partially because um cora did not end up being like kubira 
most probably because of the people she were with you know all the people she was with Tenzin and everyone everyone that Korra interacted with were people who guided her towards the right direction you could say I guess Kuvira never had someone like that you could say Su was someone like that but Su is only one person and you know like she went in a wrong direction and that's why I'm saying partially Korra having people who actually guided her towards the correct direction was the biggest difference that she and Kuvira has you know Kuvira went towards the wrong direction while Korra went towards the correct direction that's why they're so different uh, like, you know, and their goals are so different and that's why I'm like I'm saying partially I partially agree with Korra they were kind of like alike but Korra ended up nothing like Kuvira because she was in the correct direction now um one thing like you know she I, I was really surprised when I realized like I, I think I said this in one of the previous episodes as well I said something like I wouldn't be surprised if I actually like if, if in the end we get to know that Kuvira has been doing all of this and she has been she she's thinking that she's actually helping others by doing this and I'm like this is what I said and here we get to know that here she clearly says that I was trying to help my people that means she like she she, she did not like she was didn't even realize what she has been doing is actually like I am sure she realized what she was doing was wrong but she did not realize that she's not helping anyone like this she's bringing in more problems and she thought that she's actually doing this for other people and to help the earth kingdom which is crazy i like you know i'm i i I'm, i was pretty sure that this is probably something that she never thought about that the amount of problems and the amount of sadness she's creating by doing this she's probably thinking she's doing this for everyone's better you know like a future and uh, wow like i cannot like that's why i said you know like she she lacked guidance she lacked like you know a person who could actually tell her what's right and wrong i don't know why like she and sue were close i would say before the whole thing happened but i don't know why she ended up like this i really don't know like you know like sue like you know sue is a good person you know she i'm sure she would um you know like guide them guide her towards the right direction but then why did she end up, end up like this you know like i'm i'm really like, i'm thinking like ah who knows you know like like cora had people who guided her tenzin being the person who is probably the one who guided her the most and i would say that su was a person like that for um kuvira but Kuvira just ended up in such a bad direction and she just thought that oh and like th this thing she says here here you go Su to uh, Korra's like Su, Su told me how she took you in when you were younger it must have been so hard being an orphan Kuvira's like don't pretend you know what it felt like the avatar is adored by oh this <laughs> this statement I was like wow little do you know the avatar is adored by millions you know what i'll be honest all i saw in at the legend of korra is like you know half of the show like you know almost half of the show korra was actually hated by the people like most of the like the first season especially this and the second season as well you know like i think like most of the sections like avatar was actually hated people did not like korra at all and and by the end and even in season three you know like the whole spirit and world and everything like you know she brought everyone together so many people were like what is this you know i don't like this you know this type of a thing news media like the paparazzi and everyone is just swarming her and like it, it was crazy raiko with her his, his own crap you know like trying to manipulate Korra, like it was crazy so this statement the avatar is adored by millions <laughs> it is true <laughs> at the same time <laughs> like you know that's not how it went at the beginning you know so yeah anyways um i was cast aside by my own parents like i meant nothing to them 
how could I stand by and watch the same thing happen to my nation when it needed someone to guide it? Okay, there you go. Like that, like I said, like you know, I think another thing that I I always think is like you know, her, Sue actually um not accepting, not accepting, but not taking like you know, the op uh, not even all, what what can you say like yeah, Sue actually denying. And saying that I won't become the like, you know, leader for the Earth Kingdom. I think that was such a wrong decision. I understand what she was trying to do. She did not want to become like a person, you know, like a, like, you know, like a leader, of, uh, uh, like a, you could say, I wouldn't say dictator, but a single person under whom everyone like, you know, works and everything. She did not want to become someone like that. But in times of the Earth Kingdom's need, you know her actually saying that no i won't do it i i still feel that was such a wrong decision i i agree with kuvira at this point at least you know like sue should have taken some kind of responsibility I mean, she could have easily said like you know what okay for now i would take responsibility i would try my best and then when everything will be peaceful i'll step down and then i'll like you know like uh, and someone else will become the leader after they get elected just like how uh, prince wu said in this episode that he's not going to become the king you know he will make it that you know it becomes like a democratic thing and like you know people are elect other their leaders that type of a situation Su could have easily done that in the in the times of the need Su could have helped them out being like their leader and then when peace time came in, she could have easily stepped down and she could have said that, yeah, this is a, I don't know how politics goes. I don't know if you're able to do this or not. This is just what I'm thinking. I might be completely off the mark or, or I might be completely wrong. So yeah, but what I'm thinking is this would have been so much better, you know, help the nation out in this need when everything is fine, when everything's peaceful, you know, if she wanted, she could have easily stepped down. But she just said like, no, which is, such a bad decision, I still think, and I, I agree with Kuvira at this point at least. Like at the time of its need, Sue did not do anything there. She thought that oh, like you know, becoming the leader will be, like you know, will be bad in the long run. But the present situation in itself was so bad that she did not think that you need to like you know step up and take responsibility so that it could like you know the the, the nation could flourish something like i don't know i'm so yeah like that's one thing i i agree with kuvira at least like to not taking responsibility was not a good ad, uh, like no decision and and kuvira just decided to become like you know like the person the leader there and that's what made their whole relationship bad you know like sue and kuvira's relationship and she kuvira probably thought that oh like i you know like i won't like you know, then, then there's no one who's my ally here you know like sue never listened to me and i'm alone in this thing and she started walking the wrong path after that and the one person that could have probably said something to her batar jr he was just doing whatever kubira told him to do so there you go no one there you just help her you know? everyone was like the yes man for her you know like she said something and everyone was probably like all the like you know people who worked under her were like yeah definitely good idea that's how it went and uh, okay how could i stand by and just watch the same thing happen to my nation when it needed to someone to guide it okay uh Cora's like you wanted to create a place where you and your people would never be vulnerable again I may not have been an orphan, but believe me, I understand what it feels like to be afraid. Yeah, so there you go. That's what I'm like. And after that, like I said, like we saw what happened. Kuvira started becoming that dictator and started going walking the wrong direction. And I guess as soon as you start, you know, walking towards in the wrong direction and you start walking in, in that path, like, as as soon as you start you cannot just stop you know and you keep going and going and this thing escalates and escalates into such a bad situation i guess that's how it went she probably had good intentions she probably thought like this like you know earth kingdom needs me let me you know become the one leader for them she went into like you know in with that mentality but as soon as, soon as she got power 
yeah power is something that i guess can actually twist your perception and everything like you know she she probably was like oh like you know like i'm 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 being a good leader now let me you know like do something else like you know kind of expand our territory and that's what she started doing she started expanding her territory she started oppressing others who wouldn't listen to her this and that and there you go completely wrong direction and then she started researching on spirit technology the spirit vines and all that it completely went crazy and uh, yeah that's how it escalated like power power is a bad i guess like you know like not a bad thing i would say but it actually changes you and uh, like this is one, one thing i have like you know like i i i know like a quote which and oh it was i think there's another anime which brings this thing this whole uh thing that i said like you know power changes people in such a great way it was i think it was yeah it was vinland saga i remember the king saying something like you see this crown you know this crown has its own uh like you know uh personality as soon as you put the crown on your head it changes you you know it it like you know it, it completely it, it it has its own will the, like you know the crown has its own will as soon as you sit on the throne and wear the crown you know you're a different person and the crown actually i, I think she he said something like orders you or like you know makes you do these stuff or something like that he said we so true I, I i have i i understand that you know, like having like so much power like you know like it it can can make you completely go in the wrong direction but yeah anyways Cora was able to bring her back and yeah kuvira is like you know apologizes obviously she will have to face justice you know the, for the, all the things that she have done and i don't know what's going to happen with batar and the whole thing and uh you know batar jr and i uh, I don't know about the like like <laughs> she did kind of you know, try to kill him <laughs> but yeah mm, we'll see I'm 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 guessing maybe the comics will go deeper into this you know what happens to Kuvira after this and all that probably the comic has some stuff and uh, yeah I'll get to know later on when I read it and yeah like a new spirit portal okay varric and uh, julie gets married that's one thing what that i never expected at the beginning of this show but they here we are you know and i'm so glad i'm so glad that this happened and uh, yeah everyone's like doing their own thing Wu was there Wu talks about the whole is stepping down he said something about his music career so i'm guessing she, he's going to go into the music industry or something like that he plans which is nice you know he has his own goal i guess you could say he doesn't want to become a king but maybe a singer or something and um, yeah cora was there marco and cora had like a conversation and uh, the planning attention also came later on Tenzin talks about expanding the city the spirit portal is here and she talks about how much Cora changed everyone and that's in a good way uh, changed the cities and everything and uh, yeah and then comes in Asami and they had like a conversation Cora apologizes for not being in contact with Asami and uh, she, uh, oh and uh, obviously Kasa uh, Asami's dad you know like died so that was like that thing or is like let's go on a vacation and there you go and in the final section we see Cora and Asami going in the spirit portal yeah and I'm guessing this is going to continue in the comics or something which I'll read I'll definitely read oh and that's how it ends one thing I was a little bit kind of I don't know I was expecting a little bit more is like the f ending section I think the ending section was very much rushed wasn't it like they defeated Kuvira and then after that like it was like a matter of like you know five minutes or something like they tried to wrap up everything in that little time so I feel like they could have done a lot more like in the end Korra and Asami go to in the, the spirit portal I would I was I would have actually expected someone else to be there you know like maybe Marco and you know like Tenzin all of them were there to like you know say goodbye to them or something like no nah, like, obviously it's a vacation but they'll come back that's not what I'm trying to say I'm saying is that they could have like you know like a few people their friends could have been there 
they could have been like yeah goodbye like i'll come back soon something like that they could have just said farewell to them for the time being like that's one thing like i i saw them they, those two were alone with a few spirits they were going inside and i was like what the hell like i'm, I'm like wouldn't there be some a few other people here as well you know saying them like you know telling goodbye to them that's one thing another thing i was like what the hell happened to everything else i like you know like the ending section they kind of went with Wu's situation a little bit which i'm glad marco and cora had a conversation tenzin and cora had a conversation uh mark uh then um uh cora and sami had a conversation and that's it what about the other people well, like you know like nothing i i guess i i don't know i i don't know what i was expecting but i was expecting something else as well like i don't know oh um opal and bowling what happened to them i, I guess they like you know got together like that's what we knew but at least i was expecting something in the end <laughs> So I don't know. I feel like what was this? Like, you know, just a sec. Let me check. Mm, the battle ended, and the whole uh, spirit portal came out at fifteen minutes or sixteen minute mark, and the show ended at twenty two. That means um four five six six minutes. They ended. I I I don't know. At least fifteen minutes. I I guess they would have had to make another episode then yeah if they actually wanted to end this in a like you know in a way that it took time they would have probably had to make another episode maybe they had to rush this stuff that's why the ending section was a little bit rushed but i'm happy that Cora and asami are on their journey you know on their vacation and uh, yeah everything is good now and that's where it ends so there you go fantastic i loved it you know like uh, the legend of Korra. Uh, it, it was a great journey i enjoyed my whole thing like you know the whole journey and like i said uh, as much as people say that this sh show is not that good it's good it's it, like you know it, it, it's good like i wouldn't say it's bad you know obviously avatar the last airbender was uh, and the story section and everything was a lot better but Korra has its own charm. Legend of Korra has its own charm. And yeah, like, you know, the characters and everything. By the end of it, I did get attached to a few of, like, you know, most of them. And uh, yeah, like, I guess that's what makes a good show. You know, like when you get attached to the characters and when you feel happy seeing them having a happy life. And yeah, I guess Korra was able to do that. So that, that means in my book, at least, it's a good show. So there you go and uh, yeah i'm happy like you know like uh Korra and asami got together i think they got together like if, if i'm wrong like maybe i th yeah they definitely got together because like i said like you know i've, I've been reading the comments in the couple of previous couple of episodes and from the comments i could realize that yeah they'll probably get together <laughs> and in the end that the last section also kind of showed that so yeah like like i said like you know i'm i'm glad for them and yeah this this is a good ending so that's it guys thanks for watching this was my reaction to the final episode of the legend of korra book 4 and uh, yeah if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel if you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say and uh, how you like this show as a whole all that stuff and uh, yeah let me know about your opinion i'll check them out so yeah that's it guys so obviously this show has ended i'll be replacing this with another show um the another show that i'll be replacing this with w will be one of the uh upcoming seasonal shows animes that are going to come and uh, the next like you know the, the upcoming anime season has a lot of shows that i actually want to react to so yeah most of the shows that i'll be reacting to will be seasonal the next season i think there's like seven shows that i want to react to i'll talk about that in a different video i'll make a, a video where i'll talk about which animes i'm going to react to in the next season so i'll talk about that in that uh, video but for now like you know yeah like no like you know I, I was actually planning on doing some other like you know old shows that's going to like replace this but the next season there's so many shows that i want to react to that yeah for now it's on hold i'll react to the seasonal shows and then i'll think about some other shows big like you know, long running shows that i want to react to and i'll replace that with the legend of Korra, uh the legend of Korra with that show 
so anyways that's for another video i'll talk about it eventually so that's it thanks for watching and yeah see you guys in the next video until then goodbye and have a nice day